Sir Keir Starmer on the campaign trail in South Wales. The room was packed with senior figures from Welsh Labour, the First Minister Vaughan Gething among them, both extolling the idea of parallel Labour governments in Cardiff and Westminster. Imagine what could be delivered for Wales with that combination of two governments. This is a huge prize. It is time for two Labour governments working together for your future, delivering on our nation's promise. <laughs> but despite the smiles today, Labour in government in Wales has had acute difficulties of late. Vaughan Gething faces a motion of no confidence next week. He remains dogged by controversies. Among them, his decision to accept a £200,000 leadership campaign donation from a company whose owner had been convicted of environmental offences. Not even his own party, seemingly, wanted any of his spare, unspent campaign funds. Your party is currently emailing people asking for campaign donations. As little as a pound could help guarantee a Labour win, it says in one email. The First Minister here, Vaughan Gething, had more than £31,000 spare, unspent from his leadership campaign fund. And yet not a single penny of that went to the party, as you'd normally expect. What was it about that money that you didn't like? Well, it was the decision of Wolf Gethin that that would uh, go to a good cause, so Vaughan put it to a good cause. But normally we it would go course, to the party, wouldn't it? We, of course, are raising money um, for this campaign. We've been doing that for a very long time because we're ready for this election. We want to put the choice before the country. And before the voters of Wales, he is offering six steps for change. Some, like more teachers and cutting waiting times, Labour has had responsibility for in Wales for more than 25 years, where currently NHS waiting lists are at a record high. Political opponents are hammering Labour on the party's track record in Wales on health and education. You're, you're aware of that. Is, that. is that embarrassing? What do you expect political opponents to do? Rishi Sunak is hardly going to turn up in Wales and say, I'm delighted to have cut the Welsh Government's budget by £700 million. But what happens that's when, the, re that's but the reality of what he's done, though, and that is a point that is recognised on doorsteps across the country. They were in Monmouthshire today, pointedly perhaps on the constituency doorstep of the current Conservative Welsh Secretary. Well, I'm really pleased to see Keir Starmer in Monmouthshire today, and I hope he was able to ask Vaughan Gethin why it is that after 25 years of a Welsh Labour government, we've got the longest hospital waiting list in the whole of the United Kingdom and the lowest educational standards in the whole of the United Kingdom. Labour say that part of the problem with public services at the moment is that it has resulted from underfunding because of a Conservative government in Westminster. Well, actually, the record, the record is that the Welsh Labour government have had a record amount of funding. In Mid Wales yesterday, the Liberal Democrats set out their plans to regain a Westminster presence in Wales. The Reform Party says it's fielding candidates in every Welsh constituency. While this morning, as Labour rallied in the south, so in the north did Plaid Cymru. The Welsh nationalists branding a vote for them as a means to remove the Tories and keep Labour in check. Keir Starmer will say it's time to turn a page. But what does it say on that next Labour page? I'll tell you what it says on the next Labour page. It says, for Wales, see Westminster. We will not allow that to happen. And Plaid Cymru is the only party that offers that real Welsh alternative in this election. The party that will fight for fairness, for ambition, will fight for Wales day in, day out. The Labour leader left his campaign rally today amid jeers from some protesters, a Palestinian flag among them. A reminder, too, of internal party problems back in Westminster.